Good morning, everyone. <coughs> and now we have done a very great stuff with this page, and we can see a very pretty interface for retrieving the plans. And this is only the first part, which is retrieving the plans as a cards list. But there is some functionalities actually still missing, which is the search and implementing the paginations, because you know each page right now is retrieving only 10. Maybe we should make it 12. So what we are going to do is actually, we will add a search bar at the top with a button, and we will add the pagination buttons at the bottom. So whenever the user clicks at the top, he can search or filter. The API is already supporting this, because if we go over here, and we already implemented that in the HTTP plan service. So and if we go to version two, and then we check two plans, you can see that plans takes a query, which is allows us to search. So let's go ahead and start implementing that. I'll stop the project. And I will go to components, uh, plans. We have, you know, the plans list, which is the parent, then the plans cards list, which is our target. That's good. Those are for the loading, and here we have for the search. So let's start by defining a search bar. So I will add a mod paper class py2, and or I will just add mx2 and mp1. mx2 means the margin from the left and the right. Or, you know, let's let's forget about the margin because we will already add a containers for the parent page and I will just add a padding uh, one from the top and bottom and two from the left and right. And here we will add a dev. Or oh, yeah, there is no need. Yeah, let's add this dev so we can put only one thing inside. Come on, dev class dflex. What do you mean by flex? You know the flexbox system in CSS, which allows us to put items horizontally or vertically, the way you prefer. And now we will add a mod text field, right? And we will bind its value to actually the query that we have, which is the search query that's going to be used. And the other thing that we will do is to define the color Ah, sorry, define the variant equals variant dot. We have the field, we have outlined, and we have a text. I will use the, the text one. Let's go to my blazer so you can follow better with me if this is. I'll go to form and input, and we can go to text field. Okay, so you see over here, this is the text, this is the field style, and this is the outlined one. I think we can use this text. This looks good. Or we can use also the outline. The outline looks good as well. So let's use that dot outlined like that. And what we need as well is, I think this is it. And we need a mod icon button, color equals color dot primary uh, icon equals add icons dot field dot search. On a click, you know, we already have the, if you go to the code behind file, interesting. We have this one that's responsible for fetching the data, and we just need to turn is busy true and false. So what I will do is I will put this in an, I will extract this into a method, extract method, and I will call it get plans async. So you can see we can call it here just like this, and on this on a click we can also call it get plans async, just like that. Now I hope this. Uh, looks good. This is it. It's pretty simple because the structure that we defined, this is all what you need to implement search because it's already implemented on the server, we already implemented in the HTTP service, and the function that fetched them from the API is already taking care of this. So all that you have to do is to fill out the, this query because it's already being passed, you see, for this one that's to that method or the delegated that method. So that's great.
Now let's go ahead and try this, but I'll not run it from the debug mode because uh, I think we are going to make many changes. So I will run it in the terminal and under .NET Watch Run, I'll open Windows and Terminal. Interesting, and I'll call .NET Watch Run. So whenever we make any change, we can just click Save and we can see that change reflected. Okay, this is great. Now if we go to slash plans, here we go, look at this. This looks great, right? It looks awesome actually. So actually why we cannot see plans? Because I am under a different user. There's that planner app dot com test dot one two three login okay that's great yeah save it plans enter so now here we go we just need a little uh, auto margin for this uh, mud paper and let's try to search for this one Can I click on the bottom and here we go the search is just working perfectly great so let's try to search for like nice house nice house tab like that and we can find a bunch of plants that's great now this is done let's just add a little margin bottom over here so mp1 and I will add as well a mod divider, which is a line that could, so you can see when I click save, it's going to refresh the page automatically and it looks a little better now. I think we need more than one. Let's make it two. Let's add also an M Y two. Actually, MY2 for this divider, which is my margin from the top and margin from the bottom, so we don't need this one anymore. And let's see how it's going to look like. Yeah, this is this is great. You can make it more. So we give more spaces. We already have a lot. Now we will add containers. Yeah, this is much better. So this is, will not be directly on the edges. It will look so nice so this is it for the search now let's go ahead and implement the pagination over here so i will add a mod mod grid or sorry we can add also dev class dflex but we need to justify the content in the center so I'll type just defy content center I think it's like this let's go to the flex here customization uh, sorry features and I'll go to flex and if we go down yeah this is exactly what you're looking for so let's check the third section justify center let's take it as it is So it's a flex, we can put them horizontal, justify center means the content is going to be in the center and uh, horizontal top and bottom, uh, padding top and bottom is two and padding right and left is one and margin top is six. Okay, let's try to keep it like this. And now we will add a set of buttons. So let's make a four, integer i equals zero or one which is the first page is less than less than or equals to result dot items count and plus plus just like this that's great now on every round we can add a mod bottom variant equals dot filled color equals 
color.primary and if we add actually what we need as well is on a click I will add it in a second the text we can add it here and the text is going to be I but for some reason if you do it like this every time the value of i is going to be the latest one what you have to do to be able to pass this i from here to here is actually to use integer index equals i so in this case now what you can do is you can pass index over here what it's not working ah, okay Okay, that's great. So, when you pass index, now the last thing to do is just actually to add the on a click, and we need a little margin, so I will add m, mx, I mean from the right on the left, or just from the right, it's going to work. One, let's click save, and let's see how it's going to fit the data. Okay, great, and we have 72 pages and actually that's right because many of uh, the people are watching this course is actually uh, using this account so they are just adding a bunch and a bunch of of uh, of those items so it's it's too much so all they're using the same account and there is thousands of people so this is why you have this amazing number of of items and actually that's a great this is a very good point so what we are going to do over here is to figure out a way to be able to fetch only the data that actually like the current page we are in and two ahead and the latest page so this is how we can move between them the best way because when you have that amount of plans this is too much but and this is a very good scenario to test how we can uh, how when we face such challenges so i will keep this challenge for the next video so we can think about it better and now let's implement just the on a click so whenever we click on this page we are going to go ahead and fetch the plans existing in this page so i will now add on click equals get plans async now this get plans async actually you cannot do it like this because you know it doesn't take anything and it uses by default the current page number so what we have to do I will make it to take an integer page number equals one by default so we can keep those working as they are we can keep this one also working as it's as it is but for this one we are going to use async let me put this in a new line wait and we pass the index which which is the page number we are looking for and then also what we have to do over here is to type page number equals the page number passed in the function let's click save and let's save this one and let's see if it's going to work Seems you have an error, right? So where is that error? At the line 61. Okay. Line 61. Where is that? Where is that? Oh yeah, here we forgot the lambda. Just like this. Save. Okay, still. Yeah, it's already saved. We still have another one, which is yeah over here. We should we should pass also one, even if there is. So await the first page. Always in search, we want to go to the first page. And okay, this is saved. Now the other thing that we have is 
Interesting. Okay, every time I forgot. Let's see, okay, now it's built successfully. That's great. Now let's try to go for page 26, for example. Let's see if it's going to work. Okay, we don't have any. That's interesting. And it looks like we have something going wrong. If we check here. Oh, sorry, sorry for that. I'm instead of using the pages count, I'm using the items count, which is the total items. And that's not right because each page is containing 10 items. So this is the total number of items. Sorry for this. We should use total pages. That's coming from the server. Yeah, this is my bad. And now yeah, the number is going to be much less. Oh, yeah, this is exactly what you are looking for. It looks much better now. Eight. Let's click on three. And these are the content of three. What I see over here, there is some interesting stuff. Oh, nice community. <laughs> Thanks for all these awesome plans. By the way, this, those are not my plans. So, And if you check, so this one just working great. The last thing we should do is to disable the bottom of the page that we are currently in. So let's go and type is disabled, is disabled or disabled equals, it is going to be true just in case page number we are in equals to the current index that we are iterating for over so now the page one should be disabled right yeah look at this magical thing so if you go to page two it's going to be disabled page eight seven and so on so now we have a an awesome thing so let's type nice and search so you are going to see that there is three pages that contain the nice, if we go to two, nice, 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 and three. So now we have a very powerful functional cards list. It's just going to be more pretty when you'll add a title and some other stuff. We will do that in an upcoming session. Okay, that's interesting. It seems we don't have a huge number of pages, but we are going to put this challenge, I will add a huge number of plans so we can see what's going to happen if we have 20 page. Yeah, we will have the problem that you, that you saw right now and we have to figure out the solution for this. But for now, it's going fine. Maybe we can do this in an, the videos at the end of the series, like with the refresh token and this stuff, we can add a set of challenges like this. This is great. Now this one is working fine. Let's switch to the second uh, type of view, which is the data grid. And I think now, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one.